Hello everyone, this is Marsha Jeans and I'm going to be presenting to you some great little Google search tips that I think you'll really enjoy. There are all sorts of things you can do with Google and you'd be amazed at how fast and easy you can find the information you're looking for. So let's get started. Um, let's look at some everyday essentials. Weather. Very simple. In the Google search box, just type the word weather and you can type the name of the city that you're interested in or even a zip code or a city in a country. Just hit search. Um, right at the very beginning you will get all sorts of great information about weather in that city. Uh, same thing with time. All you have to do is put the word time and then the name of the city and hit search so you can find out what time it is in a certain location. Sports scores are really nice and um, you can see scores and schedules for all sorts of sports team by simply typing in the name or the league name into the search box and it will uh, report back a whole bunch of data for you about that particular sports. Now they have a, a nice little feature that is provided by Stats um, Incorporated for specific types of sports including like the NBA and the NFL the National Hockey League and Major Baseball League. So try that if you're a big sports fan. Reference tool, here's one of my favorites, the Google Calculator. It can do all sorts of amazing things and by um, simply typing in the calculations that you would like to complete right in the search box it will um, calculate it for you and give you an answer. Now, uh, you may need to do a little bit of research on specifically how you type things in. For example, you may not know how to do exponents or square roots or logarithms or those kind of things. So if you go to this particular website right here, which is www.googleguide.com, slash calculator.html it will give you all sorts of good information about how to perform more complicated calculations. Um, a book search is really nice too. I don't know if you're aware that Google has a, a whole search just for books and you can put in an author or a title and it'll give you all sorts of detailed information about that. But let me show you really quick what I'm talking about right here is I'm just on the regular Google um, search engine and I don't know if you've noticed but right here we've got a whole Google book search. Click there and if you type in the author or um, you can type in the name of the book it will give you lots of great information about that particular topic you're interested in. So check that one out. Love this one, unit conversions. You can convert just about anything you can think of in the, than just a regular Google search engine. You just type in whatever you would like to um, convert and hit search and voila, he'll give you an answer. So like this one, you know, um, what is 10.5 centimeters and in inches? So you just type that in hit search and it'll give you an answer. Try all sorts of different things. It's amazing what it can do. Uh, keywords. I like this one. This is called a synonym search. Um, you just basically, if you want to look up something, but also want to look up um, other types of results that would be similar or have a synonym for the same thing, you just put a tilde right in front of your search term. Now the tilde is found on most keyboards up by your number. So on my keyboard it is left of where the number one is, up on the left, top left. Give it a whirl, I think you'll really like it. And dictionary definitions, it's great if you don't have a dictionary handy or you don't want to have to pull it out. It's actually a lot easier for me to type this in Google than get the dictionary out. So you just type the word define and then you do a space and then you do the word that you would like to look up. Now, you can see a different sort of um, result if you put a colon after the word define. So there's two ways you can do it. Define, then a space, and then the word, click search. Or define colon, and then follow by the word or phrase. And you will get kind of a different looking result. Give it a whirl and see which one you like the best. Um, 
a local search if you're looking for particular stores or restaurants or categories of businesses um, you can do that very simply just type what you're looking for like you can type Italian food which happens to be one of my favorites and then on this example there's a zip code and hit search it will return all sorts of Italian food that's within near that zip code it'll include maps it can tell you how to get there it can include uh, include reviews and telephone numbers so you can make reservations it's great when you're traveling to new locations and you want to look up what's available out there. Uh, movie show times. I'm a huge movie buff so I use this one a lot. Uh, you can just type in movies and then uh, in space and then you can put the zip code or you can put in um, you know a city and it will display you know the theaters and the show times nearby. Um, currency conversion for all of you travelers out there this is really a good little thing um, you just you know try to figure out um, you know when you're looking online you try to figure out wow well how much money am I going to need when I go on this trip well here's a perfect example of how you can use a search to find out how much your dollar is worth in other currencies uh, airline travel information so you know you're going to pick up your relatives they're coming in to visit you they're going to be there on American Airlines flight 18 and you want to check the status of it you can just type that in there and see are they going to be on time and it'll tell you um, how that flight is is progressing along or if you're interested maybe there's some airport delays or you're wanting to know a little bit more about the Houston airport just type that in and hit search and it will give you all sorts of good information about the flight information um, love Google Maps uh, you just type in your search term and if you put map at part of your search term it will take you right on to um, Google Maps and you can do all sorts of things to help yourself get around in a new location this is kind of a fun one package tracking so all you have to do is if you know your tracking number you just type it in in the Google search box it automatically will know by your number if it was sent by either UPS or FedEx or United States Postal Service and it will tell you the status of your shipment pretty cool um, you can search by numbers for example uh, just last month I had a charge on my telephone bill that came from a certain area code and I'm like I don't know where that area codes from all I did was go into Google I typed it in the area code and it told me exactly where it was so that's a very useful tool as well well if you want to learn some more because there's a lot more out there visit this website it's www.google.com slash help slash features dot html thanks for watching